Okay, so in the first tutorial video, we looked at how to make the blend shapes change, uh, or how to animate blend shapes in, at its most uh, basic level. Now what we're going to do is try and import some audio into Maya um, and see if we can't animate these blend shapes to music to give you some idea of what you might do with a tool like this. So, first of all, we want to get the sound file into Maya. And I've got a little... Um, WAV file on my desktop uh, and there it is, it's Beethoven's fifth. I'm now just going to pull this into the timeline and that should be enough to make it stick in theory. So if I now go back to the beginning and press play I'm actually going to make this a little longer, let me take that to 150 Okay, that'll do us. Um, so now what we want to do is essentially animate this in time to the music. So I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, blow away all the animation that we did in the last video. So if I take my target shapes here, hit A and delete everything. Should have no animation. So we find the accents, which would be about here, about 33. So let's go to our first target shape and let's find the um, editor again. So animation editors blend shape and let's make sure that that's keyframed at frame one and there let's flatten off these tangents so there's no funny business and that's going to give us that so let's Try something like this. Actually, let's just move these over a bit. Oops. So I'm just going to. Extend up. Okay, so that's at its maximum point. Let's see what that looks like. And then it's going to drop down back down to zero, let's then flatten that off. So then we'll activate another blend shape here. So let's go to target shape two. Flatten off that tangent. Now these shapes only go to one, don't they? So, or what's the, actually what do they? It's, what, what is the maximum here? The maximum it will go to is yeah, one is the maximum. Okay, so let's not go past that. So let's do then do the So 
So what we're doing really is creating a kind of abstract performance based on a piece of music. So you can get the general idea. So you can you can use these things in order to create uh, abstract musical compositions, or in fact anything you want. But the point is, as I hope you've realised, is that blend shapes can be a powerful way of creating animation without actually having to rig a whole character. You can simply create morph targets and then slide into those, animate it to music, do whatever you want, um, uh, add lots of bells and whistles and you can create some fun animation which is cheap um, and hopefully interesting to look at and doesn't require a great deal of upfront work. So that is a general introduction to the subject of blend shapes.